Andrea Rowan is our first server, starting setter for UCLA, first team all-conference. Sean McQuiggan in the middle with Merrick McHenry. Get you the rest of the starters here momentarily. USC running the offense first. Ball popped up by Coleman McDonough, the starting libero. Ethan Champlin on the left. USC in transition. Big night from number 15 last night. Jack Duker, but a hitting error and the Bruins strike first. For UCLA, Andrew Rowan, Sean McQuiggan, Cooper Robinson on the outside, Alex Knight, Merrick McHenry in the middle, Grant Sloan on the outside with Ethan Champlin, Coleman McDonough, number 23 in the libero jersey. It gets you USC here in a moment. Andrew Rowan, tough serve. And USC runs the middle, and there is Kyle Paulson, actually number three in the conference in blocking at 1.10 per set. For USC, Kyle Paulson in the middle with Marcus Olsen, who has come on strong late in the year. Jack Duker on the outside, Caleb Blanchett at seller, at uh, setter, Riley Hain on the outside, Austin Stewart at libero, Dylan Klein, also an all-conference second team selection this year. Service air from USC, and Ethan Champlin will get a serve. Champlin, 6'3", senior from Oceanside, uh, one of the three members of the first team, all MPSF for UCLA. The Bruins had six all-conference honorees, as was announced a couple of days ago, on the heels of their third consecutive regular season MPSF title. Ball pin pinballed around there a couple times, bumped over by Champlin in the back row, left side, little dump, and USC scores there. That is Dylan Klein. He had a nice night, I thought, against BYU last night, but I'll tell you, it was the Jack Duker show. 30 kills, an MPSF single match high this year. And the Trojans have been going right, so has he. Ball served by Blanchett. Right side, inside of 10. Cross-court swing by Grant Sloan. Also a second-team honoree in the MPSF. Free ball back over to the Bruins. We're tied at two early on. Ball drops there, missed time. Champlin, a free ball up top. Right side, Duker. And that sails over the wall and out of bounds. So Duker off to a shaky start in the early going today, as hot as he was all night in all areas of the court. Not only did he have 30 kills last night against BYU, he did it extremely efficiently at 4.07, also had four aces, seven digs, and a block. Here is Merrick McHenry, the 2024 MPSF Player of the Year, sends off a good serve. Duker on the left cross court, and he's got that one for his first kill on his fourth swing. If you're USC, it's good to see Duker settle in those first two swings not really all that close after you mentioned his historic night a night ago. Dylan Klein on the service, tied at three. Rowan right side, Sloan on one knee, ball popped up. USC's in the net, and the Bruins retake the lead. UCLA has won 11 consecutive matches, third straight MPSF regular season title, eight-time MPSF champions. They won it last year up at Stanford. First time they had done that in 17 years, if you can believe that. And they are now 22 and four. USC 13 and 14 after their big win last night. Last win in the MPSF championship in 2009. Left side it goes, and the Bruins put up a double wall. That is Sean McQuiggan along with Andrew Rowan. And UCLA gets the first block of the day, five to three. That's gonna be the challenge for USC is trying to avoid the double blocks from UCLA. 2.53 blocks per set for the Bruins. Ranks in the top five in the country, UCLA. Number one team in the nation in hitting. Run the middle, USC does with Marcus Olsen. 6'9", junior out of Cupertino. Bruins number one in the country in hitting, number one in the conference, number three in the country in serving, a little bit better than two aces a set. And as we mentioned, 2.53 blocks, ranks fifth. Olsen jumping up, four serving five, Champlin to Rowan on the low pass, but they do get it out to the left side for Cooper Robinson, a second team honoree, six, seven, third year sophomore out of the Palisades. This Bruin team is extremely deep, and to say that any one particular person is the leader offensively, that's kind of putting it loosely, right? Because it could be anybody on any night. There's just so many options. And that serve goes out of bounds. SC back within one, and Jack Duker back to serve. Kind of a light crowd at a 4.30 start here in Galen on a Thursday between these two crosstown rivals. 
Right side, a one-on-one -on -one situation. Off the soft block, Sloan is picked up and into the pin that goes UCLA. Let's see which way. It's going to the right side off of UCLA and into the antenna. So it is six to six, back-to-back -back Trojan points. A nice start for USC. You can't let UCLA jump all over you if you're the Trojans trying to stay with the best team in the country. Ball taken by Alex Knight. Now libero left side Champlin. He drops it in there. Ethan Champlin, been a mainstay in this lineup. They have tried him at times at the libero position. Didn't work out, so they moved him back to the outside. They've been getting really good libero play now from uh, both Alex Knight and Coleman McDonough. Sean McQuiggan back to serve. Front row in the middle it goes. Paulson, McHenry up there. USC picks up on it. Free ball, gonna end up being a kill because the Bruins were not communicating, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's one of those plays when you've had a little more time off than the other team, despite yeah. being more talented, it, it can make a difference. Yeah, UCLA certainly um, looking a little jittery as we perhaps saw yesterday from Grand Canyon, one of the other favorites. Come out of this uh, tournament, and the Bruins are in the net there, and USC has taken the lead on a lead change, eight serving seven. It's not a lot of days off compared to normal for UCLA, but it's the fact that USC played yesterday to yes. feel a little bit more comfortable and playing in their home arena. Bruins last played on the 13th, coming off back-to-back -back sweeps over Concordia. And 11 straight wins, as you mentioned. They last took a loss at BYU on February 23rd. Eight to eight is our score. And Andrew Rowan is back to serve. Rowan, terrific server, terrific player, runs the best offense in the country. Out to the left side. Bruins get a block up, but SC picks up on it. Ball bumped up front row. Rowan and out of the bick comes Cooper Robinson. However, that is a back row attack. USC nine to eight. Another mistake by the Bruins, and they have really helped USC hold this lead early go in the early going. Kyle Paulson back to serve. Paulson's got 31 aces on the season to lead the team. Front court it goes. Merrick McHenry, a little tip. Right time to do that. SC had a couple of players up and the rest back. And uh, Merrick McHenry, the MPSF player of the year, couldn't be more deserving of the honor. First middleman in the MPSF to earn that honor in 22 years. You gotta go back to Brad Keenan of Pepperdine, 2002. Out on the left side, brought back to Klein, denied, picked up in the back row. Marcus Olsen again. So they're establishing him early. Marcus Olsen, a couple of nice kills in the early going for the Trojans, who are now 7 of 15, swinging 267. And they met here, USC tried to establish the middle, but it is so hard with McHenry and this dominant Bruins team inside. Caleb Blanchett back to serve, part of the all-freshman team, the MPSF. Robinson passes the row and run Merrick McHenry. That's an overpass, and Cooper Robinson waiting. However, he slams it long. SC by two, 11 to nine. Blanchett serving, and the Bruins still looking to find some rhythm out here, just hitting 091 early on. Left side, Robinson, off-speed shot, but off the soft block, picked up by Klein. Right side, Duker, off the block and picked up by Rowan across court. Left side, Robinson, a little tap, and it's good enough. Blanchett could not get that pancake up as uh, Robinson there avoids the wall. 10 serving 11, and Merrick McHenry, who is put on quite the serving clinic in recent matches against Stanford recently, served three consecutive aces to send everybody home in set three and the night and the series as USC goes right back to the middle with Marcus Olsen. Trojans have found success with Olsen. And USC off to a good start, hitting just under 300. They struggled against the Bruins in the two regular season meetings. SC hit 343 last night, very solid number. Sloan over two blockers, that is no good. Or is it? Oh, they got a touch. Didn't see that touch in real time. The ball was going out, but they do get some fingertips, and UCLA, instead of going down by three, 
and probably forcing the Bruins into a timeout. And get some fingertips and pull it to 12-11. Grant Sloan at the service line. Jumps it up, and it is in play. Ball taken on the sideline by Hain, who will now swing on the left pin off a soft block and covered by McDonough. Here come the Bruins. Champlin out of the back. He'll dump it down. Ethan Champlin, two for three. He, Robinson, and Sloan all two kills. Grant Sloan to serve. And Sloan fires one down the middle to Austin Stewart in the white libero jersey, right side off a couple of tips. Overpass and Marcus Olsen will knock it down again. Olsen is four for four. He's been the best player on the court for either side. And we're halfway through set one. It's 13 serving 12, Olsen serving. USC has nine kills. He has four of them on just four attacks. All taken in the back, Rowan run, McQuiggan, and easily roof there. Kyle Paulson, number seven in the nation in blocking this week, 1.10 per set. SC is up 14-12. Both sides still have each of their timeouts. And we'll have immediate timeout, of course, once somebody hits 15, if one hasn't been called yet. Olsen, serve sideline, that is wide. 13 will serve 14, Stewart back on the court, as is McDonough. And back to serve Cooper Robinson. Robinson on the year, 30 aces. The Bruins have been lights out again this year at the service line. More than two aces per set. Front court it goes. Right side, Duker across court. That's going to be a kill, and that'll send us into a media timeout. USC 15, UCLA 13, the Trojans, the number six seed, UCLA. Get they usually do. The kills are spread out among a bunch of guys, and that's how it started so far. Jack Duker at the service line, right to left as we see it, and that ball goes long, and UCLA is back within one for USC. That is their fourth service error. And here is Sean McQuiggan at the service line. Made the honorable mention team in the MPSF. He has served eight aces on the season. Floats one, and does it drop in? No, it goes a little bit long. SC back up by two after UCLA's second service error. Riley Hain at the line. Hain 11 aces on the year, and he floats one long. So we've had three consecutive service errors from each side, and after the immediate timeout, 15 looking at 16, Andrew Rowan, one of the best servers amongst other things in the business. Going back at the line, he's got 36 aces on the year, but we're gonna mop up first. It's a nice little slide across the floor when UCLA avoided that service error. Trojan band in attendance again for this one. First of our two semifinals, seven o'clock projected start in our next match. That is gonna be a fun one and a long one, I would think. Stanford is playing extremely well, as good as we've seen them really in a long time. Last night, Grand Canyon had a wonderful season, 23 wins. Left side, Dylan Klein. And let's see, that's a UCLA point on a fourth hit. Klein never made it over and then, then Paulson was just standing right there. So 16 all. Meant to go over and it yeah. just stayed on his side of the net. All right, tight first set continues here at Galen. Andrew Rowan fires one down the middle. From the back, Jack Duker. So he is off to a rough start after last night. He is two for eight. And that's his third hitting error. And Jeff Nygaard, ninth. Well, uh, Ron Pelham is the R2 again in this one. And Troy Gravett is the up ref, and our replay technician is Patrick Bradley. Yes, I think that's what John Sparrow 
is talking about uh, you know, 12th year head coach, the call will stand. So what's in question there, it's not that he called both a timeout and a challenge, it's did he do it within the eight seconds. And uh, Pelham looked at it and Jeff Nygaard loses a challenge, he has two left. Trying to swing some momentum to his side and also get Rowan off the service line. When we are ready. All right, Rowan to serve now with a 17-16 lead after the challenge. Away we go, ball taken in the back by Jack Duker. That is out of bounds on the overpass. He continues to be off to a rough start in this one. And uh, Andrew Rowan fires one away and is spearheading this 4 nothing UCLA run, 18-16. His serve has put the Trojans on their heels late in this first set. Rowan fires one again, and that one just goes wide across court. 17 will serve 18 uh, for a solid rotation by the Bruins setter, who is last year's freshman of the year in the MPSF, first teamer this year. And Kyle Paulson back to serve. Senior from Long Beach. He, in his own right, a great server, and of course one of the best blockers, not only in the MPSF, but in the country. Ball taken by McHenry and Cooper Robinson flying high. Three for six for Robinson as the Bruins go back up two. So little by little here, UCLA starting to find a little bit of rhythm on offense. Now up to 235, ball served down the middle to Duker, left side it goes. Coming this way with the dig, Rowan. McHenry will set Robinson cross court. Stewart with the dig, SC in a little bit of passing disarray. Bruins can go up by three right now. Right side, Grant Sloan connects. His third put away. And the Bruins are up 20 to 17. You mentioned it, that poor pass by USC allowed UCLA to get really whatever they wanted. 6-1 is the run, and make it 7-1 on the run on the A serve by Ethan Champlin. Second. All right, Ethan Champlin coming off, there, coming off of an ace prior to that timeout. as he's got no timeouts left now. 21-17, substitution. Here comes Jackson Reed for USC. 6-1, fourth year junior out of Carlsbad. Riley Hain will sit, and uh, Champlin is back to serve, fresh off of his 18th ace of the year. The Bruins now have served 199 on the season. Front court, it goes Blanchette, a swing for Jack Duker, and he connects. Go to zeros now here in set one, just three for nine with three hitting errors. 18 looking at 21, and now SC has to get hot at the service line. Play, uh, Caleb Blanchette. Serving Robinson in the back row. Rowan right side, Sloan. Stewart kept it alive, but flying a little late off of that pass. For the second ball there. So I got Stewart right in the chest. Yeah. And just couldn't get enough to get it to climb. 22 looking at 18 with Merrick McHenry at the line. Slams one. Sometimes goes with that hybrid serve. That had some velocity there. Klein pushes it off the wall. And someone's in the net, right? They called a net violation on USC. And there, Klein. You see it on his way down. That left hand just clips the net. Twenty-three, eighteen. Bruins two points from this first set. McHenry off the tape. Ball taken. By Reed, Olsen, a little tip, denied there by McQuiggan. Running again on the left, Duker, kept alive briefly by McHenry. And Jack Duker connects for his fourth kill to match Olsen for a match high so far. Grant Sloan also with four kills for UCLA. Bruins on the move, Rowan to McQuiggan, and SC gets a block. Jack Duker up top. That's the second time they have blocked McQuiggan. 
two to one USC on blocking. They pulled it within three. 20 serving 23. Klein goes off speed. Rowan will set, but this time there and got behind Grant Sloan. Free ball. SC's got a cross court. Nice up by Alex Knight. Free ball at best here, given up by UCLA though. SC on the move. Cross court, right in the tracks of Alex Knight. UCLA's got it. Sloan gonna be blocked. Marcus Olson. And they've used Jackson Reed uh, in the front row a couple of times. They did that last night. And he was there right in that situation too. And they pulled it within two. Timeout UCLA. And he is back to serve. Going to replay the serve. They hadn't shut down the music yet. So we'll reserve it. Klein leaning in, a short serve to McQuiggan. Out to the left it goes. Robinson gets some fingertips up high and puts the Bruins to set point. His fourth kill, four men out here have four kills apiece between the two teams and uh, UCLA can win any of the next three points and go up a set. Sloan, jump serve, leaning in, slams it into the net. SC will have to win back-to-back -back serves of their own here to stay in at set one. Two aces, four airs now for UCLA, and Marcus Olsen is at the line. Goes down the middle, Champlin to Rowan, out to the left, Robinson off a touch. Olsen kept it alive, right side, and Jack Duker is Ruth, and UCLA puts the finishing touches on set one. Cooper Robinson, what a finish he had to that set. Olsen was the best player for most of that set, but Robinson had some big points late in set one to help UCLA fend off US. Hitting zeros, Olsen, an errorless 800 in the middle along with a block. Two to two on blocking and two to nothing UCLA on aces. Bruins hit 250 to SC's 207 in the first set. Away we go. Blanchette, the first server set two. Little tip, Merrick McHenry. Another beautiful read by the MPSF player of the year. Put the Bruins on the board in set two. Second time he's done that today and just watch him. Little hesitation and then lands it right there in the middle. Jump serve, Andrew Rowan fires away. Ball taken in the back. Blanchette bring it front row. Noah Roberts in there for USC. Right side it goes, and Grant Sloan scores. Roberts, a 6'8 redshirt freshman hitter out of Seal Beach. We talked about when UCLA made the run in that first set. Andrew Rowan was serving just like he is now. Roberts, 1.78 kills per set at 237. This is his 38th set of the year out of the Trojans, 108. So he has seen some time out there on the outside. And Dylan Klein back to serve. Rowan in the middle, little tip. McHenry, Olsen kind of turned around there. Got his hand on it, but no second touch. Yeah, just one that Caught the Trojans off guard, weren't able to deal with. And in that second touch, did not come. Three serving one as the two teams swap sides here in set two, and Champlin serves into the net. Marcus Olsen back to serve. These two teams met on February 29th here. Bruins in three, and then they met on March 2nd. In Pauley, in Westwood, SC came out hot. Battled really hard that night. It was the Bruins in four. McHenry down the middle. And Merrick McHenry goes to four for five. Four to two. The Trojans lost a close first set in both of those matches. The difference at Galen Center, they got blown out in the next two. They were a little bit better in Westwood despite losing as well. McHenry down to our right, will float one in play, go with this hybrid serve that often works. Case in point, a serve, Merrick McHenry, that is the third ace for UCLA. First one for McHenry. Trojans have not had an answer for the MPSF player of the year. 
Bruins have just served their 200th ace of the season. Merrick's got 33 of them. Roberts will clear three blockers. Tough shot, UCLA had three blockers up. Of course, Jeff Nygar looking for an answer on the bench in between sets one and two. Noah Roberts, someone who can certainly give it to them. He is successful on his first swing of the day and Roberts is now back to serve. That is long. Six to three with Grant Sloan to serve. Sloan leaning in to our right. Ball off the tape taken by Klein back row. Duker, little tip, but it's read nicely by Sloan. Bruins on the move and McQuiggan has seen better starts. And he misses that one on a ball that pretty much a sure thing for the Bruins, but uh, tried to dump it down and it goes into the net. McQuiggan hitting negatively. In fact, uh, he's now 0 for 3. Duker serves down the middle. Right side, Sloan is roofed. Probably a solo act there from Dylan Klein. His first block. And USC's fourth of the day. USC with four to two on uh, blocking advantage there. Really nice job by Dylan Klein to get out, get in the right spot. And that just does go wide behind the 10 foot line and UCLA retains its lead seven to five. Coleman McDonough for Alex Knight. John Spara using two liberos interchangeably. Alex Knight and Coleman McDonough. Jump serve, ball down the middle. Front row it goes, Blanchett out to the right side and Jack Duker swings it off the wall. And he ties Grant Sloan for a match high five kills. A slow start for Duke but he's starting to heat up. Not the night he had last night, but Trojans need him if they want to stay in this one. Kyle Paulson back to serve. SC looking for its first ace of the day. Ball taken by Robinson. Ball left hanging to Quiggin. Just not getting good shots. Very uncharacteristic of him. Timeout, I think, or they're going to just make a change. Yeah, the Quiggin is done. And that's the right thing. McQuiggan just needs a break here. And they're going to bring in Guy Guinness. And this is exactly how deep UCLA is. Guy Guinness, someone who has previously won freshman of the year in the MPSF, playing behind McQuiggan now. And he's bringing him back on the court. UCLA gets a point here with Grant Sloan. And you want to just give McQuiggan a little bit of a break. Doesn't mean his day is over, but needs a little bit of a reset. Fourth year junior, Guy Guinness, 6'5 middle out of Tel Aviv, Israel. Formerly, of course, on the all-conference team and the MPSF freshman of the year in the past. Left side it goes. Cross court and Ethan Champlin connects. Well, what a luxury it is if you're UCLA to be able to have that option off the bench. Oh, yeah. McQuiggan's not playing well. Again, is very capable. He's had some huge matches. He's back to serve front courts. Blanchett, Roberts, he's going to be blocked right into McHenry and Champlin. 10 to 7, three in a row for UCLA. Trojans make a rally. Guy Guinness comes in. All of a sudden, Bruins reclaim the momentum. And Guy Guinness still serving, ball taken by Klein on his knees, and the two ball dump there by Caleb Blanchett. Dylan Klein, that's all he had to do, is on his knees, make a nice pass to the setter, and took care of the rest. Eight serving 10, Caleb Blanchett from the near corner, ball in play to Cooper Robinson. Front row, Rowan, Ethan Champlin, SC left the wide open middle, too easy for an All-American. 11-8. Watch it again, there is nobody home. And yep. Champlin says thank you very much. Andrew Rowan back to serve. 
Served his 37th ace of the year in set one. High toss there, misread, and Blanchett can never get a good set off. Going to his right, Merrick McHenry squeezes it in the tight window, and it is 12 to 8. Jeff Nygaard going to call a timeout with the Bruins leading 12 to 8 in set two. They won the first 25. USC hitting 231. Slight edge for the Trojans on block, four to three. Three to nothing UCLA though on aces. Overpass there out of the timeout and Grant Sloan takes care of it. Sloan's now got a match high, seven kills. Bruins by five. Rowan puts it in the air, leans in, down the middle it goes, and just long, nine will serve 13 after another 3-0 Bruin run. UCLA's seventh service error. Talking about how well the Bruins are starting to hit. 580 in this second set. Little tip, McHenry, pancake up Stewart, third touch Roberts. Bruins have a block up at the cover by Blanchett. SC on the move, Noah Roberts right side over the wall. Did he get some fingertips? And no, early indication. And there will be no arguments, 14 to nine. So again, looking at the bench, Jeff Nygaard gonna take out Caleb Blanchett and put in Josh Freeman, who played a little bit last night, junior out of Newport Beach. Champlin fires one and that one misses, 14 to 10. Paulson back to the front row, Marcus Olson to serve. Puts it in the air, Olson serves down the middle to Alex Knights. Backside it goes, little tip. Up by Olson in the middle, Paulson whistle. And into the net goes USC. Second time this set, the Trojans have had that happen. Costly when you're trying to come back. 15 to 10 with Merrick McHenry going back to serve. Had an ace in an earlier rotation. Right side Roberts missed time that one right in the tracks there of Rowan. UCLA looking to go up by six with Cooper Robinson off the soft block. Nobody else read it. In fact, Stewart had the best chance, but it was late. 16 to 10. On his Stewart was going for it. Not going to be able to see it again, but Jack Duker just took a couple steps back and got right in his way. McHenry still at the service line. Goes front row. Freeman going to be roofed on the left. SC will. There's Guy Guinness. Keen for the Bruins. And Merrick McHenry still serving. Five for a narrow of seven, one ace, one block, one dig for the player of the year. Tough serve to the back row. Freeman backside to Roberts, and he is roof. Guy Guinness, another block, teaming up with Cooper Robinson. So another brilliant move by John Spira replacing that middle. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just about to talk about. He came in, it was 7-7. Seven, seven. Bruins have gone on 11-3 run since. And have their biggest lead of the day, 18 to 10 in set two, looking for a two set lead. McHenry, the only man who can get himself out of the rotation on the service here. And that's been SC's offense lately, UCLA serving airs. They've taken advantage in this second set for what they've gotten, but it has been tough sledding for USC offensively. The Bruins have nine service errors already. At Two of them in this set. Guy Guinness, one on one situation off the soft block. Stewart on the cover, but that's all. And UCLA again standing tall in the front row to go up 19 11. You talk about Trojans' offense coming off of service errors. Trojans hitting minus 133 in this second set. And 089 now for the match. UCLA 471 in the set, 317 for the match. Tough serve down the middle, 19-11. Left side, Dukers got that one, 19-12. 
Duker goes back into positive numbers. 067 on his six put away to lead USC. And Duker serving four aces last night. That one is going wide. The Bruins have hit 20. Substitution, actually a couple of subs in. Ido David, they just keep coming in. David, we, we know all about him. And also coming in, number 17 is David Flores, the setter transfer from uh, Ball State. One of the Bruins seniors. Cooper Robinson is back to serve. If you're not familiar with Ido David, he's got one of the toughest swings really in the country, especially when he's, when he's on, he's just unstoppable. Been a huge part of the Bruin offense and their run of regular season titles. Let's side Klein and he lightly works it off the wall and out of bounds. Just his second kill, that's hard to believe. Yeah. Can't win without Dylan Klein scoring. That's exactly right. USC needs him to get going if they have any hopes to rally. 20 to 13 with Kyle Paulson at the line. Alex Knight, backside, Flores, that's right on the money to Ido David, wow. So he brings in a double sub, and they make that connection there. David Flores to Ido David, 21 to 13. You talked about how hard he can swing it. Junior also from Israel, like Guy Guinness floating serve, another Bruin service error, and that's basically how SC's been scoring uh, for the most part. 21-14. There's Friedman. Near the near corner, ball taken by Robinson. Not a great pass there. In fact, SC had a chance to dump it down. Picked up by the Bruins. Whistle blows, SC's in the net. Bruins certainly bailed out there, 22 to 14. That was a low pass to the right side. Grant Sloan back in. Flores sits and let's see. All right, Nygaard questioning something there momentarily. 22 to 14 Bruins with Ido David at the service line. Got a high toss, slams his serve down the middle. Front court, Freeman, right side, Klein. Off the wall, back to the Trojans. Freeman, left side, Roberts. Dug out beautifully by McDonough. Champlin leans in. Bruins are feeling comfortable. Why not? Defense leads the offense. They have been fantastic defensively here in this second set, and the offense is woken up. Hitting 500 in set two, 348 for the day. Nine point lead, David, and another Bruin service there. That's the 11th. 500 they're hitting is not the 824 they hit in the second set against the Trojans here <laughs> earlier in the season, but it has been the similar type result. That one 25-20 in the first set, 25-10 in the second. Trojans just struggling once and again. By the way, if I recall that series, Merrick McHenry was airless, I believe, in that series. It was fantastic. Yeah, and he's airless today, five for eight, left side. Cross court, I'll confirm that in a moment. Right side it goes, Roberts, that's a double block. McHenry on this left pin with Grant Sloan, 24-15. Yeah, McHenry in that one, six attacks, six kills. In one of the matches, and I believe in the other one, he was somewhere in that neighborhood. Perfect as well, yeah. seven attacks, seven kills. Wow, all right. And today he's five for eight, 24 to 16. Bruins a whole bunch of set points lined up here to go up two sets to none. It's not like anyone really has an answer for McHenry, but the Trojans certainly do not. Olsen leaning in, that is no good, and that will do it for set two. Bruins much more comfortably there in set two, 25 22 and 25 teams back to the original bench with Andrew Rowan starting things off in set three. It is in play for Kyle Paulson and he swings and it goes out of bounds. Paulson, been a rough day for him. 
one for six. Trojans have needed guys like Paulson and Duker to have huge games, and they just have not so far. Tough serve from Rowan. Front row, they go back with Blanchett, and Merrick McHenry and Grant Sloan barely had to get off the ground for that block. They're that good, just the anticipation and always ready for the where that ball is going, first two to UCLA. Ruins looking to play at six o'clock on Saturday night. And I think it's important to mention that some of the struggles from Paulson and Duker have to be directly attributed to what UCLA is able to do defensively as well. Kyle Paulson back to serve. Jump it up, Paulson down the middle. Alex Knight on the reception, out to the left it goes. Soft little touch, beautifully done. Wow, it doesn't have to be powerful. You just gotta place the ball sometimes. Grant Sloan does it so well, eight kills for him. That's a match high, 333. He's also blocked three balls, dug one other. Ethan Champlin back to serve. Ball taken in the back row by Klein. Olsen is soloed by Cooper Robinson. Second block for him, ninth Bruin block. We saw Olsen going strong in that first set. Bruins have adjusted and have certainly slowed down any Trojan momentum in the middle. Ethan Champlin at the line, off the tape it goes. Roberts front row, Blanchett left side. Duker, that is off of a touch. Duker scores. Trojans needed that one. Blanchett puts it in play off the tape. Front row Rowan. Backside it goes. Little tip from Sloan. Olsen, second touch. Roberts up top. Free ball. UCLA has it. Knight, Robinson. Not a good second touch there. Spira not happy at all. Left side it goes. And a kill for Duker. And John Spira is going to let his team know a thing or two. Four to three. Kayla Blanchett, ball in play, low pass there from Knight. SC, an opportunity doesn't happen. Robinson fires away. Probably a point the Bruins shouldn't have won, actually, because that was a bad ball again that SC had an opportunity on. And Bruins take advantage of another USC, not necessarily a mistake, but just missed opportunity. Five looking at three in set three. UCLA number one seed up two sets to none. And Eric McHenry misses long. He'll leave. Bruins put their libero back on. That's Alex Knight. Jack Duker to serve. Ball taken back row by Champlin. Right side Sloan. Off the soft block. Blanchett keeps it alive. Stewart will set Roberts over the wall, but that's uh, out of bounds, but he does get some fingertips. John Sparrow wants to confirm there was a touch. And the guys say, yep, we touched it, so don't need to challenge it. 5-5. Five, five. Duker to serve. That's no good. Tenth service error for SC. McDonough for Knight. And back on top, 6-5, Grant Sloan to serve. Both Grand Canyon and Stanford looking on, taking in this match. They're next at about seven o'clock, and winner of this will get the winner of that Saturday night. And UCLA finally McQuig, and they put him back on the court, and he pairs up with Cooper Robinson. First thing uh, McQuigan has done today. Doesn't have a kill on four swings, but he gets a block there. Now is a perfect opportunity to try and get him going up two sets. Really want him to be going well come Saturday. Seven to five. Sloan hits it into the net. Service here, piling up. 
really for both teams, but uh, Bruins do have the three aces, seven to six. Ball taken by Knight, front row Rowan, out to the left, Robinson. The ball drops and just wide on the Bruins side. UCLA holds on to its lead, eight to six. Stewart back on, and Cooper Robinson will be the server. Seven kills, three assists, three blocks for Robinson in this one. Second team performer in the MPSF. Slams a serve. What a serve. SC can do nothing with it. Fourth ace for the Bruins. Cooper Robinson, what a season he had. Playing off the bench most of last year, and he has just come on beautifully in his redshirt sophomore year. 9-6, maybe another race. He's got it. Back-to-back -back aces for Cooper Robinson. Bruins of serve five. And Jeff Nigel on to 0-78 for the match, hitting zeros in this set, hit negatively in the last set. UCLA also 10-4 on block, and now 5-0 on aces. Robinson, three and aces in a row, yeah. How about it? Cooper Robinson. Three aces in a row, six aces for UCLA. The last time we saw a Bruins serve three consecutive aces, it was Merrick McHenry a couple weeks ago to finish off Stanford. And UCLA, you take some of the service errors when you can get production like this. Another run here by Robinson. This time they get a pass from Stewart. At 11-6, left side Klein, one on one, Sloan. Champlin back to Sloan. Well, actually an overpass. Sloan looking to dump it. And uh, SC will score there on a back row attack. Straw talking with Ron Pelham. And SC will get that point then, 11 to seven. Well, four in a row there from Cooper Robinson, three aces. Noah Roberts out the line, serves and in the back for Robinson. Get it to Andrew Rowan. On the money it goes, the Champlin, but the Bruins are in the net. Eight serving 11. Back to back mistakes by the Bruins, giving the Trojans just a little momentum. That set might have been just a touch too far out in front of Champlin. His momentum may be taking him there into the net. and. SC bringing it to within three. Knight front court. Rowan, ball drops there on Robinson, looking to place it, but it's picked up by Stewart. Left side, Klein, and he goes through the wall. It is 11 to nine, and SC now on a little bit of a run, three nothing, and John Spara, not the happiest man in the building right now. The lead is down to two. UCLA off a few in a row there. Marcus Olson, five kills, 500. 11 to nine, Roberts out of the timeout, misses Long, about the last thing the Trojans needed out of the timeout. That happens all too often to teams, snapping their own runs, and American Henry back to the front row. McQuiggan puts it in play. Right side, go back to Roberts. Bruins turned around there a little bit in the front row. McHenry though there to cover left side. Champlin swings and scores. Seven for nine, Ethan Champlin. Better set this time, and you know, just look at Champlin giving space and takes advantage. 13-9, McQuiggan puts it in play. Again in the middle of the court, McHenry and Champlin right there to meet Paulson. Free ball, reverse McHenry though, waiting, and Bruins knock it down. Dylan Klein still having a hard time generating anything. Just three for 16. It's 14 to nine, 14 to 10 on a short serve into the net. So UCLA wins three in a row and then they serve into the net for their 15th service there, low pass there to Rowan, left side Champlin, off two, picked up back row by Stewart, left side it goes, Duker across court, and that is good. 
and the Bruins saying no good, but that was clearly in the court, and I don't know, I, I'd be shocked if this was, if this was overturned. UCLA players wanted a challenge, but you're right. That was clearly in the court. I don't know why they would, and they came up very adamant the ball was out, but clearly it was in. Looks like Sparrow is all that pleased with his guys. Each side with two challenges left. Each side nothing for one on the challenge today. 14-11 UCLA in the third. They're up two sets, front court Rowan. It goes to McHenry. Pinball it around, punch it over Stewart. Bruins on the move again. Out of the back, Cooper Robinson. He's got it. He is eight for 15. With two airs, that's an even 400. Three aces, three blocks. Those aces were all in succession. Grant Sloan back to serve. In play for Stewart. Blanchette and wanted Paulson in the middle, but out of his reach. So the timing off there for SC, and Grant Sloan scores at the service line to make it 15-11. Not the first time we've seen it, but Blanchette just undercut Paulson and prevented her from taking a swing. I'm gonna check the score here. The scoreboard has 15-11, we're showing 16-11 at the uh, scores table here. And the Bruins now called for being out of rotation. So we gotta sort a whole bunch of things out here. Now Paulson back to serve. All right, ball down the middle, front row, Rowan out to the left side and Little tap there by Grant Sloan. He's in the net, and it's 14-13. Uh, what did you learn, Eli? That should be 15-13, according yep. to the stats people who they have it right on the official stats, but the scoreboard in the arena has not been updated. Yeah, well there you go. The score is 15-13, and the scoreboard here is not right. I mean, it's just that. And that's what we thought. Yeah, yeah. But just have not been able to get that sorted out. Paulson. Ball set, or served rather, to the back, and wow, that's a, that's a hammer there from Merrick McHenry. Ethan Champlin to serve. Jump serve, Champlin, that is long. Now our stat monitor has 16-13, the scoreboard has 15-14. We believe the score is 16-14. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rowan, bump it up, left side, Robinson, cross court, Bruins uh, uh, acting like they may try to make that immaterial, so we'll see how it all plays out. Looking really solid. And the refs, though, rely on the scoreboard in the arena. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how that goes. So the official score would have 17-14 right now, right? That correct. Yeah. 16 in the arena, cross court swing, Roberts. Sixteen fifteen, And Jack Duker to serve. Ball taken in the back row by a Knight. Right side it goes, Sloan, Stewart, toss it up, Roberts. Champlin through the wall. But just trying to give a little bit more of an explanation, the scoreboard in the arena is run by near, but by different people than the stats, and get put in for the official stats, and I think they disagree, and that's probably why we're a point off here. 
Uh, unofficially 17-15, but Grant Sloan, a tough serve. Stewart looking to kick that second ball. He knocks over a whole bunch of seats in the end zone. Can't bring back the second ball, so Grant Sloan bombs away on the service. Ace. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five different Bruins now have served an ace today. They have seven aces to nothing. Nice effort by Stewart. Off speed serve there. Front court it goes. McQuig, or uh, Blanchette goes to Jack Duker. All right, Reed will serve for SC. Goes to the left sideline for Robinson. Champlin fires away. Knights got it on the overpass. Bruins run their offense with Cooper Robinson. I don't think the Bruins care much what the score is. They just want to play volleyball right now. Yeah, I think if you're John Spira, you're telling your guys, get whatever we need and end this right here. Team's playing like that's how they feel. Reed and Olsen back to serve. Jump it up, Robinson, ball taken by Klein. Left side, Klein. Miss, or avoid the three blockers, and he goes cross court. Dylan Klein has had such a quiet day, just his fourth kill on 17 swings. Bring it to within two, and Kevin Roberts to serve. Just the one error. UCLA has just done a nice job of limiting him. Good pass to the front row, feed Ethan Champlin. Pass that hit all the way there for UCLA. Merrick McHenry back to the front. Sean McQuiggan puts it in play. Klein to, Blan to uh, Blanchett. Klein off three blockers, and that'll trickle all the way across the court for a kill. 18 will serve 20. Knight, front row Rowan. McHenry looking for the wide open 10 foot line. He's got it 21 to 18. Andrew Rowan gets the tape. All taken back row. Blanchett backside Klein. Little tap and. Over the wall, that drops in for Klein. 21-19. Trojans hanging around here in set three. Bruins two sets to none, two sets to none. Looking for just a few more points to get into the MPSF championship match on Saturday night at 6 p.m. right here in Galen Center. Ball hits the tape. Bruins on offense now with Merrick McHenry off a soft block, covered by Klein. USC on the move. Duker, a little Tap a couple times in the front row, left side. Sloan drops it in, wow. USC had a swing there to bring it to within one. Uh, 22 to 19. It's been the story of this match for USC. Chances that they have not been able to take advantage of. And almost an ace there from Champlin off the tape. SC scrambling in the front row. Bruins on the move. McHenry puts it away. Merrick McHenry has been airless against SC all year. All three matches. Nine for 13. 23 to 19. UCLA as SC calls a timeout. We'll be right back on Flow Sports. 
of advancing to the MPSF championship match. Ethan Champlin is the server. Nine kills at 6.15 for him today. That serve goes out of bounds. UCLA seven aces, and that right there, their 18 service error. Bruins seven to nothing on aces, 10 to four on blocking. Haven't had a block for either side in a while. 380 to 154 on overall hitting. McHenry in the middle, picked up by Klein, and then a free ball on three given up top by Roberts. UCLA, Merrick McHenry, they go right back to him. Gotta love it when that happens. Why not go to your MPSF Player of the Year to get you to match point? 24 to 20, and Merrick McHenry trying to get the Bruins to 23 and four, and into their third straight championship match. Or excuse me, the second straight championship. Three years ago, they came up short at home, but uh, the Bruins in search of a back-to-back -back MPSF title 24 21 yeah they were upset a couple years ago at home in the semis by Stanford and the Cardinal are trying to get to a third straight conference title match Robinson slams it off the wall and ends the day 25 to 21 in the third the Bruins sweep USC in the Galen Center for the second time this year and when all three meetings on the season and USC who upset BYU last night ends its season at 13 and 15.